What's going on guys? Welcome to your 15th tutorial in the Android 2.0 series. I know we're going to get into like the web services and parsing data, JSON, databases, remote databases, all that stuff. Um, but as for now, we're just working with saving data externally to the SD card. In the previous tutorial, we saved an image. As you can see here within our onclick method, we saved an image. So I'm just going to copy this code here and show you how to save a sound now. And also, uh, just to mention the morning shade, I've seen your comments a few times. I definitely will cover this um, in this tutorial as well, just saving a sound, essentially, is what we're doing in this tutorial, uh, but also the long click listener. So the other thing that we're going to do in this tutorial is refractor our code, change the structure, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, so just copy that code, paste it within the save sound method here. So make sure you guys have a sound within your project that you're going to save to the user's phone. Uh, I just created a raw folder to save my M uh, music. You guys should be familiar with that. And then I threw in a M4A uh, clip called game music. Again, this has to be lowercase, otherwise it might crash your program. So that's the sound I'm going to save to the user's phone. The next thing we have, we have to do is change the path. So instead of the pictures directory, which wouldn't make much sense for saving a uh, some game music, I'm just going to delete that, hit control space, and pull up uh, either ringtones, if you're saving to the ringtones, if you're making a ringtone application, or just a music directory. That's what I'm going to do for this specific example. And again, all we're doing is taking the, the information from the edit text, and instead of adding a PNG or a ping, we're going to change that to M4A because, again, that's the same extension as the music that I have within my resource folder. Okay, so we have all of our initial setup done there. Next thing we're going to do is make that directory if it doesn't exist. If it does exist, we're going to be like, cool, just move on to the next thing. Uh, we need to change our input stream because our input stream is no longer that picture. Instead, it's going to be the sound. So for our sound, it's going to be r.raw dot game music as you can see this is still a raw resource so we don't have to change any of the code here we're just getting our resources from our application opening the actual raw content of of the or the resource and then we're telling the specific resource that we want that's gonna be our input stream or output stream again is uh, where where we want it to go again the file path here then we convert our song into a data array and we read that data, write that data, and close everything. So essentially, that's how you save a sound. Pretty much the exact same way. So this is a pretty lame tutorial so far uh, because it's it's pretty much exactly the same as our last tutorial. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to refractor some of this code because a lot of this stuff is pretty much the same in both of these two buttons. And if we had like 100 buttons, we wouldn't want to copy and paste a bunch of you know, copy and paste a hundred times. We want to condense this into a method of its own. So let's just try and work that out and refractor some of our code. Now what refractoring is, is it's changing the structure of a program without changing the functionality. So what I mean by that is we could grab all of this information within our uh, save picture and go up to the refractor tab here and there should be an extract method. Uh, option and what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to create a method of all the information that we just copied and paste so we could say save picture and that would create uh, a method down here save picture but instead we're just going to say save data for now because we're going to try and get both of these uh, buttons to use the save data method so as you can see with uh, within the save picture we're just calling the save data method and that is located down here which has everything that we just copied and pasted. Checks the SD, checks the path, um, all that stuff. So let's also, I know that we just covered how to save music but uh, we're gonna delete that out as well because we're trying to optimize our code and make it a little bit better. So let's just do this save data as well. Um, and as you can see here, right now they do the exact same thing. Both of them would try to save a picture because we copied the picture into the save data method. Now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out what makes these two methods different or what makes these two buttons different. And one is obviously the directory we're saving into. The next is the path. And the third one would be the input stream because one is a picture as an input stream and the other 
is music. So let's pull those out and add those to our parameters. Uh, we're just gonna add a file path, a file, a file, and also an int because as you can see here, it takes an int, uh, even though it's r.drawable.exit, it's considered as an int and we're gonna call this uh, information or info. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out because again, this is just for the picture directory. We're gonna paste that above within our picture button. And also instead of this r.drawable.exit, we're gonna pass in our info, info. Okay, um, so now we have created a method that whenever we call it, it we're going to give it information of the path, which is our directory, the file name, and the info that we're actually saving. And then what's going to do is it's going to check if the path is available. If it's not, then it's going to create that path. Then it's going to create an input stream of a resource again whatever resource we want within our third parameter and an output stream is going to read and write that data to the file that we want to save it as and everything's all good and then our output stream is going to be where we want to save the file uh, within the you know the path or the directory and then we just read and write that data everything's good now this method will work for both of our saving a picture and saving our data. We just have to pass in the appropriate parameters. So again, within our save data method here, we're getting an error. So what we're gonna pass in is our path. And then uh, that, again, that's for the first parameter. Second parameter is gonna be our file name or a file. And then the third parameter is gonna be the info. So r.drawable.exit or whatever picture you wanna save essentially and we're good uh, now it's gonna work the exact same and we've changed you know probably 15 lines of code into four lines of code here and we can just minimize this because we know it's gonna work and our projects already a lot cleaner and now to save the sound just as a refresher we're gonna copy this information down here paste and instead of the picture directory we're gonna do directory music and again we're still getting the file name and we want the extension of m4a and it's going to give us an error because we're using these same file names up here. So let's just do a path to, file name to, file to. I mean, we could probably make this a little bit more neat, but that's fine for now. And then we just have to pass in, again, the parameters that we want for our music that we're going to save. So we're going to save data to path to uh, with the file name. So file to. And then lastly, our resource that we want to do r.raw.gamemusic and everything should work perfectly uh, this should I'm sorry this should be path to and name to here as well um, so now everything should work perfectly we've refractored our code and we can save sounds again to the music directory or save a picture to the picture directory and lastly uh, the thing I want to mention for this save sound uh, again for the morning shade comment that I got all you want to do is just do a save sound dot set on long click listener and then we can say this and we got to implement the on long click listener we have to implement those methods or add the implemented methods and then instead of this maybe this regular click would play the sound and then within the on long click method you know we, we'd actually do the saving so that's how that would work. Um, again, that would just be a on long click would save the sound and then you can just change your actual regular click to play the sound with media player, which I think I've covered previously. So hopefully that, that helped you guys. I'm just gonna take this out because some people will probably be confused. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you learned a little bit about refractoring, using Eclipse to refractor some code, optimize your code. Uh, make things a little bit better and also saving to the music directory but hopefully you kind of get the concept of saving information now hope you're having a fantastic day and i'll see you later